I'm no Audificate Guru. Goodness me, but times have changed. When we previewed the MSI GS65 Stealth two years ago, it was delivered by Natalie from MSI, who sat and had a good long conversation with me. And as I recall, we went to lunch. Uh, today, it's time to preview the GS66 Stealth. And with the human malware going around, it was delivered in a box. And I received this pack of noodles, this pack of coffee, and a rather sweet little note saying basically, please don't die Leo, which I thought was nice. We saw the GS66 Stealth at CES back in January, and at the time we told you the laptop was waiting for Intel's new Comet Lake H processor family to be launched. We reckon that would be sometime around the middle of the year. In the event, it's April. Intel's actually beaten us to that particular punch. If you thought the only item of interest within GS66 Stealth was an upgrade in inverted commas from 9th gen Intel to 10th gen Intel with a very modest boost in speeds, you would be bitterly disappointed. Thankfully, that's not the case. There's quite a lot to see with GS66 Stealth. And believe you me, as I've got about 10 more minutes of video to fill out, if all I could say was faster CPU, I'll be in trouble. Before we take a tour of the GS66 Stealth, I'm just going to point out that this is a preview, so no benchmarks, no performance, no battery figures. This particular laptop is an engineering sample. However, today is the embargo lift for news on Intel 10th Gen, Comet Lake H, and also NVIDIA Super. It so happens this laptop has RTX 2060 non-Super, i.e. regular graphics, is not subject to that NVIDIA embargo, which is just as well because apparently if it did have a uh, higher end graphics, 2070 or 2080 Super, I wouldn't be allowed to even show an unboxing on camera for reasons that escaped me. Today, as the embargo lifts on news of Intel Comet Lake H, we're able to show you this laptop, but no performance figures. That's gonna be a couple of weeks up the road. Superficially, the GS66 looks very similar to the GS65, except look, all black the GS65 uh, had some gold going on. The screen measures 15.6 inches on the diagonal. Resolution is full HD, so no QHD or 4K with this family of laptops. Refresh rate of the panel up to 300 hertz. This particular version is rated at 240 hertz. We have RGB on the SteelSeries keyboard in the now traditional MSI way. And then we turn to ports and connectors. I'm going to get into terrible trouble here. I'm going to call that port there a USB 3.0, but of course we now know it's called 3.2 Gen 1. That is a 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, HDMI, and power connection. The power brick is fairly tiny, actually very similar to one I saw just uh, the other day on the Zephyrus G14, rated at 180 watts. There are no ports and connectors on the front. Around the other side, we've got exhaust vents for the cooling system, killer ethernet, two more USB 3.2 Gen 1s if you must, another Type-C, so that's a second Type-C where the GS65 had a single Type-C, and a combo headset jack. On the back, no ports, connectors or any such, more cooling vents. That change in ports and connectors, so the GS65 had a mini display port, the GS66 ditches that for a USB-C Thunderbolt port, which is actually a really handy little upgrade. When we saw the GS66 at CES, one of the features that really got Luke interested was the enormous battery rated at 99.99 watt hours. That's a clever move to get around the incoming limit of 100 watt hours on batteries inside laptops. So MSI with the GS66 has absolutely pushed the limits. That is the highest rated battery you're gonna find in a laptop, as far as we're aware, forever. Time to take a look inside the GS66. The back cover is simple to remove. And inside, the GS66 looks entirely conventional. Even this enormous 99.99 watt hour battery, which actually has a true rating of 95 watt hours, but never mind that, even that enormous battery is not really that enormous. You may think at first glance, hey, it's just conventional. True enough, you can see here we've actually got a pair of M.2 SSDs. 
This is an engineering sample. I'm quite sure that will not be the setup in the uh, production version. And similarly here we have the Sodims. Cast your mind back to the GS65. The title on our review was they flipped the motherboard. Here with the GS66, easy peasy to get to the internals. The cooling system is called Cooler Boost Trinity Plus. What you can't see by eye is that MSI has thinned down the fan blades to a mere 0.1 millimeters in thickness. That's enabled them to add in more fan blades, and as a consequence, they claim 10% better airflow. With Dragon Center 2020 open to show you the processor and graphics in this laptop, but no hint of performance, there's no stress on the system whatsoever, so you can't learn anything from this. Let us run through the product stack. So this particular version is the bottom of the stack. 1700 pounds gets you a 512 gigabyte SSD. As you saw inside this laptop, it has two 256s. I'm hoping to goodness the retail version will be a single 512 gig. 16 gigs of DDR4 2666 megahertz. That's a speed bump with a 10th gen over 9th gen. Comet Lake i7-10750H. That processor is bound to be the mainstream in uh, Intel powered H series laptops for the next few months. And then RTX 2060 graphics, 6 gig GDDR6. The panel is 15.6 inches, full HD, rated at 240 hertz. So really not a massive improvement over GS65. We're talking tweaks, slightly faster panel. We're talking ports and connectors have changed, batteries larger. Move up to 2,100 pounds. So a significant price increase. You now get a one terabyte SSD, 16 gig of RAM, i7-10750H. The graphics are now RTX 2070 Max-Q. The panel is still full HD, 240 Hertz. Moving up to 2,300 pounds, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigabytes of RAM, the same i7-10750H. Now the graphics RTX 2070 Super Max-Q. Right now, what we know about Super is the specs given to us by NVIDIA. RTX 2070 Super has more shaders, more CUDA cores than the previous RTX 2070 Max-Q. Looks like about 10% more. We don't know whether they will maintain speed or be slowed to save power. Time will tell. The panel in the display is rated at 300 hertz. Even further up the stack, 2,600 pounds, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, Comet Lake i9 10980HK processor. On paper, that looks like an absolute monster. Going to be fascinating to see how it performs and how, how much cooling it requires. Graphics still RTX 2070 Super Max Q, panel still 300 Hertz. At the very top of the stack, things get interesting. This is RTX 2080 Super Max Q territory. Here, the RTX 2080 Super appears to have about a 4% lead over the existing RTX 2080. So it looks like a really minor tweak. But again, the benchmarks will tell. Interesting thing here is the prices have gone up significantly. So for 2,700 pounds, you get RTX 2080 Super 300 Hertz panel, Comet Lake i7-10750H, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. The thinking according to MSI is the very highest end models with the most grunty graphics are for gamers. Gamers, they say, don't particularly need a lot of memory. That's for people in the production sector. They are the people who need most memory and they don't need such extraordinary graphics. Not sure they're correct there. At the very top of the stack, 3,000 pounds gets you RTX 2080 Super Max Q, a 300 Hertz panel, the Comet Lake i9-10980HK, 16 gig of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. That's 3,000 pounds. Wowza. GS66 Stealth is a tweaked version of GS65. You get some interesting features. The ports and connectors are slightly better. You've got USB Type-C charging, which I haven't mentioned until now. You've got a huge battery. You've got Comet Lake H, which is quite clearly very similar to 9th gen. You've got NVIDIA Super Graphics, which appear to be very similar to the previous existing RTX graphics and so on and so forth. The faster panel is welcome, but when all said and done, this laptop has been around for quite some while. It might be that a full review is gonna change my mind, but as things stand, I'm still fresh from that review of Ryzen 4000, eight cores, 16 threads, 35 watts. 
That is quite some processor. I cannot believe for one moment Comet Lake H is going to be a patch on Ryzen 4000, and the processor is a huge part of the laptop. It just is. That's all there is to it. So fingers crossed that when we get to review GS65, my feelings go up somewhat. But right now, I'm concerned. It looks rather expensive for what it is, but who knows, perhaps a full review will change my mind. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe, head over to Kit Guru to read our news, reviews, and see our photos. Go over to the merch store to buy a t-shirt. I'm your Wood for Kit Guru. This was an unboxing and preview of MSI GS66 Stealth.